Hey guys, Dave here again with another video from our Fitness Technology Services. Today's video is going to be about changing the uh, speed button. First thing I'm going to do is show you that it doesn't work. I'm going to hit start. Bolt's turning. Speed won't go up. Speed won't go down. Alright, so we're going to show you how simple this is. I'm going to use the Phillips that came with it. It's probably 10 years old. It's all rotty. And um, here's the button. The uh, new button's blue, the old one's red, but I don't think it makes any difference. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we got to do is remove the side cover. I've taken some of the screws out of here. I always do that just to make the videos a little shorter. So I'm just going to remove one on this side. there because I'm old I need my glasses sometimes then we're going to take one off over here now I'm going to try and do this without fishing a wire without doing anything so that you don't have to make a big deal of this really all right and I guess I should advise you to turn it off first Although there's very little voltage up inside this handle switch. So here's the switch here. Oh, it's not even hooked up right. That would keep it from working. Oh, the pen was broke. That's what happened to it. All right, so either way, we got to switch this out. All right, so we have a broken pen. Fumble around with these things enough times, I'm bound to break something. now. I'm really going to do nothing. I'm just going to take this out. Speed switch right here. Pull that through like that. I wonder if I just put that speed switch back in. I wonder if it's not bad. I can still show you how to install it. I wonder if the pen just got bad. This could be good for video too. Let me see something here. Do a quick little repair. Bend that pin down straight. Let's reinstall this one. The same idea, new switch or old switch. I'm just going to stick it right back in the same hole. It's going to pop out right there, like that. Ta da! I'm going to run this into here. Now the tricky part about this is really kind of hold on to the screw on the bottom here. Because it's hard to line this screw up with this tab on the bottom side of this switch. So if we have this, and we'll just search down until we feel it. And then I'll just be able to screw this right in it. Dude, this is the difficult part on this one. Come on now, be nice to me. Come on TV. Okay, I think I got it this time. Third time's a charm. So then I'm going to hold this and turn the screw. I'm going to put this button back in the bag. It may still be good. Got the part number on it. Alright. So let's see. Was that all there was to it? Back on. Put the screwdriver in there. Alright. Hit start. We'll do its countdown. Ah, what do you know? I fixed it and saved the switch. But either way, that's how you install a switch, or 
Maybe yours is just a bed pin also, and you can save a switch, all right? So just reinstall your covers, put your four screws back in. Kind of goes like that, four little screws on that side. Four little screws on that side. And really, uh, you are good to go. So that was like super easy. It was a short video. I've gotten a couple people asking me about how to do the uh, up and down. The uh, switches will be the same whether it's done on the left side or the right hand side. It won't matter whether it's the incline or the speed. And I guess that's all I really got for you guys today. Got some more videos coming up. Be seeing you shortly. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, please.